If you've been following these videos, you've probably already learned how to extract parameters from a region of interest, or ROI, using SPM's Mars Bar Toolbox. Today, I'd like to present an alternative method of doing the same thing, just using some commands in the SPM library. Uh, we're still going to use regions of interest created by Mars Bar because I, I still think that's, uh, I think, the best way to do it. But uh, this is just a, a different method to do it. I think it might open up some more options for how you script things, how you do your ROI analyses. But if you, if you like the, the Mars Bar way, that's totally fine. Um, if you have found some tools in, the, in their library that are useful and good for your purposes, that, that's fine too. This is just to, to kind of deepen your understanding. And uh, I, I hope to make the ROI analysis much quicker, more efficient, and to make your life easier, which I, I think is why I, I do these things in the first place, I, I hope. But uh, let's just do a brief overview. Uh, this first part is going to show you how to create a bunch of ROIs and save them all into a single mat file so you have them for reference for use at, at a later point. Uh, the second part is going to show you how to actually extract data from those ROIs using an SPM command. Okay? So in this, in this first part, Let's just get into this. We are going to just uh, define one of our ROIs through the results GUI. So I've already created an ROI. Okay, I've already created that. It's in a folder that's been created by Mars Bar. But I'm actually going to uh, basically highlight every voxel and extract the coordinates for that ROI. Okay, so um, I'm just selecting a, basically a contrast at random here. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. What does matter is when you go to ROI analysis, select yes, and then go to save file. Okay, go to where you've uh, stored these files. Here I have it in a masks directory. And these are uh, uh, ROI file, dot .mat files which have been converted to nifty format, again through Mars Bar. So I have two ROIs I'm going to focus on right here. One is CG, one is CCZ, with CG being a, a more uh, anterior cingulate, ROI and CCZ, the caudal cingulate zone, which is more posterior. Okay, so the critical thing here is for the p-value adjustment, we just hit one and then a zero for extent threshold. Now what this is going to do is it's basically going to light up or make active every voxel in that ROI, All right? So pretty easy, pretty, pretty simple so far. And notice that when I, you know, when I click on one of these, so after we did the results, XSPM has already been generated. This is a different structure which has a bunch of different attributes. And within, within this, we have XSPM.XYZ, and this gives me 81 columns. And not surprisingly, there were 81 voxels in that ROI that I created in Mars Bar. So this just gives a single coordinate for every single voxel in that ROI. And what I can do is assign that to a variable. So say cg equals xspm.xyz, and now I can go back to the results, you know, load up, you know, get an arbitrary contrast. Doesn't really matter too much. I'm just using this to, to get coordinates for right now. So it really could be any contrast, because if we set it to 1, a p-value of 1, everything is going to be active in that ROI. So now I'm selecting ccz, okay, and again, p-value adjustment is going to be 1, 0 extent threshold, and again, xspm gets updated, right? So now ccz equals xspm.xyz. And now I have two ROIs. Now if I want to have all of these for reference in, you know, at a future date, I can just uh, go away help, save my ROIs.mat, and then cg and ccz. All right, so now if I, you know, cleared everything, let's say, you know, I lost everything, oops, I can just load up my ROIs and get those coordinates back. Right? It's a CCG, CC, uh, CCZ and CG. Right, so this is just showing you, you can basically tack on however many regions of interest that you want. It, it might be a set of coordinates that you had from, say, WFU Pig Atlas. It could be you know, some anatomical region that you've defined. Or it could be a, a set of coordinates around, you know, a sphere around a peak voxel from a paper you thought was really interesting and that you think you might use a lot in your later work. So you can just add this all into a simple .mat file and you'll have that for use at a much later date. You won't have to go through this thing 
a bunch of times. You can just do it once. You have those coordinates in MNI space, and then you're done with them. The reason we need those, as I'll show you in the second part, is to use an SPM command to extract parameter estimates from that ROI.